All right, there you go. I sent you all the instructions in your Skype. But this way, whether you're online or offline, you will be able to make... Oh, you can't, like, copy-paste. It has to be one for every line. It's rather tedious and annoying, but that's how it is. <laughs> I know. Good try, though. <laughs> so it only took the first line, right? Uh, it, you should have got a message back saying it did, but since you put all that on one line, I don't even know if it would have took the first, the first one. I just said it upgraded my auto miner. So. Oh, cool. So yeah, it must have took the first part then. So how do I know if one of these is level one or two? So do AM colon info in Faction Chat, and then it'll give you a printout of what auto miners you have, what level they are, how much of each ore they have inside of them at the moment, the fuel levels, and when your fuel expires. So I just have Pentax. I don't think that's in the list of things I copied. <laughs> Uh, I think BC is blue crystal, and they count they count that as pentaxid. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of weird. But yeah, just go down through the list. I apologize. My push to talk is the same thing as the copy to this button. Yeah, I've been rolling in the gold with this stuff so I can upgrade my auto miners, so it's actually um, pretty nice. I was able to pull out 8,000 gold earlier today. Like, just a moment ago. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah, man! That's 8 stacks of, uh... 8 stacks and, like, 9 pieces. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna complain about that at all. Oh wow, I guess while my ship's repairing it blocks the elevator access? Hope you didn't need that. I mean, I can always go out the bottom and fly around, I'm just kind of curious. I'll just check the console, see how much more time I got left. 47 minutes and 18 seconds. Bloops. Yeah, what's up? You still on my stream? Yep. Look at what it took to repair it. Actually, it's not so bad. I was thinking it was going to be worse. Yeah. I'm just glad I made a, a repair template uh, yesterday. So anything I might have changed in my ship is actually like really up to date right now. I want to know what the story is with the statue on level 3 that looks completely out of place. I was wondering that myself. Oh, so, so <laughs> that, I was talking about it on my stream, I came down and I'm like, I don't think Momo put this in right here, so it's going to be somebody else. <laughs> it's probably Peaches, because Peaches is the one that put the giant stone statue face in the living room that I, I know. made base. 
I know. Yeah, I logged in and I was shoved over and I turn around and there's a giant face and I'm like, what is this? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, it's freaking nuts. Because I was like, I don't think Momo would have done something like that because it doesn't match theme. There's nothing else going on and it's just this random freaking statue staring at you when you get off the elevator on floor three. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, as much as Peaches likes to troll around here, I'm gonna have to think of something, and we're gonna have to like team up, combine forces, and and do something epic to Peaches. I don't care if it's like paint his whole ship, or like re do a whole new paint job on his ship, or or something. We gotta we gotta figure something out. Do you know how to swap color palettes? Uh, Mama was talking about that. You can like override the. Uh, is instead of painting the entire ship, we just swap his colors around. Because my my favorite, uh, well no, not that. My favorite type of prank is the one that sits unnoticed for a while. So I'm thinking find. So only change one of the colors. <laughs> find something in his ship that's like red or something, and then get in the color palette and swap it to pink. He does run around painting my crap paint yeah. from time to time. And, and then at some point, he's just going to be walking around and just be like, wait, how long has this been pink? <laughs> and the best part is, when you're doing that, you're basically, you are switching everything that is red to pink. I feel like he would know this. I think he would but, notice fairly quick. I mean, I didn't even that's get why three think... hours without him finding the room I decorated it on a ship. Well, that's, that's why I said pick something red. Because I'm hoping He's red color you'll red. have habit on your side, and he'll <laughs> walk right by it, and hit, like it'll be close enough in color that he won't notice. Because red and pink are kind of similar. Like if, if you turn something that was like green to pink, what just happened? Oh no! What? There's a drone shooting at my base. Oh. Oh, it's this patrol vessel that I found earlier. Uh, Welcome wow. back, attention. Rude. What's this noise? I guess what I can do is go farm up some more water containers. Man, I have no power, no guns yet. I'm slowly starting to realize that the reason that this thing was relatively inexpensive to build was that the blueprint didn't have any of the guns added. So I'm just, uh, I'm sitting here with. I don't think. Let me look. I'm sure it's got something. Yeah, it's got a group for turrets with no turrets in it. So um, add some on there? No, it, like it's you. You can tell that it that they were removed before it was saved as a blueprint. Which I've I've seen things that will do that. It'll it'll remove non-essential stuff so that you can then place it in later and it's a bit more, you know, resource friendly. The trouble is if you're not really paying attention and you forget that you're in a base that's like that, yeah. Huh, that's kind of weird. There's an elevator that goes nowhere. What do you mean? Momo, well, what's going on here? Is that like a maintenance hallway shaft or something? Uh, hold on. Where are you? Uh, we have dead plants in here now. Oh, crap. Where are you? 
in the greenhouse. Well, that doesn't help. There's a lot of greenhouse on this floor. I'm over here. Turn left. Turn, yeah, I'm to your right. Ta-da! Are they, oh, they're dead, dead. There's oxygen. And this is, you might need, let's see here. This is all green for airtight. Yep, airtight, oxygen, I don't know why they're dead. Maybe pick them up and try replanting one and see what happens. How, how long ago did you replant them? Um, a while ago. Did you accidentally poke a hole to the outside or something? It's very possible, because I ripped things apart and put them back together again. Oh. But not like the outside outside, just to where I was already building outside. Oh, okay. Well, it's a dead plant. It's placeable as a dead plant. Oh, I just trashed them because you can't do anything with them. So what were these? I think this was wheat. Okay. I better check on the other floor. Crap. Same thing? Yeah. I don't get it. There's oxygen. But if you poke the hole to the outside, then the temperature would drop. And it would kill the plant immediately. But it wasn't space outside. It would have been the floor right here. Oh. Which I think is the same temperature. So I'm slightly confused. Oh no. It actually took out some of my concrete. Don't you have a turret? Um, you know what happened? What? Somebody turned the power off in the base for a little while and I didn't find it until I came back from AFK. Are you serious? It was probably someone hopping on and off their ship and accidentally pressed uh, the power button when they were not in the right place. They have no idea. But, um, yeah, I was like, why are my textures not glowing? Because, as you can see, I have a ton of glowing textures. So yeah, cool. I got in the habit of when I get in and out of my ship, when it's on a base, mm -hmm. I pull up the P menu and do it that way. I don't hit Y anymore. But that's probably what happened. Well, it's a good thing I only had two rooms planted. Yep. I took up all the dead plants, so it won't be annoying for you to replant. Thanks. So, uh... I, for one, am in favor of repairing relations with the Xerox at some point. Well, we still have to do Zenyu base and Rado's base. Yeah. Oh, I just realized something. Hmm? When I uh, when I went AFK for a bit, I locked out so I wouldn't starve, and uh, I think I might have reset my progress. Oh. oh. Let me check that. Mine's still going. Team missions, defeat alien POIs. Yeah. Rip. What was the reward? Since you're looking at it. Uh, rewards, epic sniper rifle, epic sniper rifle, epic sniper rifle, epic <laughs> sniper rifle. Well, if you need one, I'll hook you up, because I'm going to try and still get it done. I'll just stay up a little later, because I'm still repairing my crap. And, um, let's see here. Honestly, I'm not convinced that it was that the trouble was worth four epic sniper rifles. 
Well, the actual outposts weren't that bad. Oh, yeah. The the cruiser was not a part of the quest. That's true. I forgot about that. Yeah, if it had been a freighter, we would have been more than fine. But uh, now we know when we see a cruiser, not to go mess. Or if you are going to go mess, you might as well call up everybody on the server who's got capital vessels to go out there and do it. Ooh, only got 35 minutes oh, left. Halfway tempted to just multi-tool up this entire base and start over. This is a lot more digging than I expected. Or... Oh, man, that's going to be a lot of multi-tooling. Or, why don't you just spawn an HB in there and dig with it until you have the uh, shell done up. Because good luck digging inside of the base. No, what I'm saying is, you already have your frame sunk, right? Yeah. Okay, so hand drill out a section, put some base blocks down, spawn the hover vessel inside the base, and that little patch yeah. that you make for your hover vessel, because, like, the beast is not that big. You only need, like, yeah, a 4x4x4 four yeah. by four by four area or something like that. And then, hop in them, fuel them up, and just use him to go around and excavate the inside of your base. It goes so much faster than the hand drill. So you can still do your idea, just... Spawn a hover vessel inside. No, but I, I want it to not be inside of a mountain. Oh, you don't? I thought you wanted that. No, this is a different base. Oh. So wait, this is this is the new new base. I, sp I spawned it next to a mountain. Okay. I had underestimated how close I was to the mountain. And instead ended up spawning it like halfway inside the mountain. Gotcha. So yeah, let's multi-tool it all back up, start yeah. your blueprint production again, throw it all back in there, and you you pretty much will cut down all the time, uh, since it's the same resources that would already get made, and then you can mm -hmm. just try again. Yeah, that's honestly, I think, what I'm going to do. Some of it's going to be underground, uh, but no deal with that later. Yeah, I know I got some things I want to deconstruct back into the raw materials. Because I'm really not going to be using a lot of this.
Here's Strom. I think we're on box four now. Yep. Four. Nothing there. Stone, steel plates, ammo box, salvage loot. Oh, my ship is off right now and I forgot about the other bridges with raw materials. Whoops. Yep, stuff's already spoiling. Whoops. It's not that big of a deal. Should have been a little bit more careful. So we're just gonna put all this into. And the good news is, this will come in handy when I go to make more crop pots. So at least spoiled food is still useful. Not all my stuff went. <laughs> so much stuff is bad. Six? Do I have six fridges? I don't think I do. Oh, I do have six fridges. Mainly was worried about the uh, entire refrigerator burgers, but that's a good way to purge my refrigerators. Just dump all the extras out into the space station. All right, and we were putting stuff to deconstruct. We'll go ahead and turn that on now, and use up more of our battery. <clears throat> But there's four deconstructors that work to break all this stuff down. And it'll spit it out into these two boxes here. And I like to just stick that back into the uh, input boxes. Speaking of stuff I'm deconstructing, let's see, Avenger, and we're looking at Danger. Where's my Danger box? Oh, Space Station. Danger box. Get rid of some of the stuff that's in here. That's actually pretty decently stocked at the moment. Is there anything here? I think I already looked this over. So yeah, we're good there too. It's actually kind of cool that I can still go through my containers and stuff while my ship's being repaired. Alright. 
trying to kill some more time. Let's see what we got left. I should probably just start a timer somewhere. Go up here to the first floor and double check. <clears throat> where, where are we at? With our capital vessel repair. 24 minutes. And Boom Boom has 47 minutes. But we can place the drill. Place the beast down. I think it's funny this floor no longer has any doors. <clears throat> Momo up to Hello. Hey, hey. So I see that you also prefer steel over concrete for the uh, textures. Am I right? Yeah. Concrete mm, doesn't have a lot of variety. True story. So the deconstructor's almost done. Looks like it's having trouble with those last two. I'll give it a minute to figure out if it's done or not. In the meantime, the uh, refrigerator in here has some um, sprouts. So let's try and replant in here. And then we can make more sprouts. As well as, uh, is that the ones for buds? Yeah. Roots. Actually, I think I'll try to be smart and we'll just use half of this in case there's another incident. I think being able to grow your own food in this game like this is awesome. A lot more concern goes into growing in this game than, say, seven days to die, although you're only on one planet. But, you know, I don't have to come back and deal with uh, adding a fertilizer later on. Once you have a crop plot, you have a crop plot. So I kind of like that. sprouts. Space station supplies. No sprouts in here. Though realistically this is kind of where they should end up being. They don't really belong in the refrigerator. Uh, 
see. Is there actually a box named Sprouts? Yes, there is. And let's just take all those out of there. Well, no, let's leave them there. And let's go to the fridge and move these ones out of here. I have a ton of these. I'm going to plant some of them. I have a ton of those too. I don't know what the plans are for the uh, greenhouse here in the space station. I imagine we would want everything planted so that way we can make medical supplies. Um, unlike my capital vessel where I have everything optimized for just mass production of meat burgers. I just use it for sustenance to keep my character alive. Well, that actually worked out perfectly. Okay, I replanted this, this side of the uh, greenhouse where you have all the decorations, like the benches and things. Okay. Um, I didn't use all the crop plots, I just split them in half in case there's another incident. But if we can, when those fruit and they get plucked, just turn them into sprouts until we um, have a good supply of sprouts again. <clears throat> but yeah, this is shaping up pretty nicely, and I like the little blue that goes up alongside the uh, elevator shafts. Cool. Yeah, I was trying to look for a way to make it look, I don't know, both. Kind of traditional and space-like. Traditional and space-like? Yeah. Like, traditional as in something you would expect to see in a building down on the planet. Okay. Which is why it's got, like, the marble atrium look. This is going to be, like, a lounge deck up here. I don't know. Oh, that makes sense. Just a nice place to come when you want to, like, hang out with plants in space. Gotcha. Originally, I was going to try to make, like, a giant jungle-type greenhouse thing, and then I realized there's just not the kind of texture or plant support for that. my leg again. So we're gonna need like med stations on every floor of the uh, space station in case you break your leg. <laughs> Alright, I think we're gonna take the small vessel and we're gonna go to uh, I guess Primahan. We can at least go get some water and um, Farm that stuff up. Yeah, let me just uh, cap off on fuel cells. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. 999 plus. I'm probably going to use like, I don't know, 200 or something doing this. Oh, I'm still carrying passenger seats around me. That's hilarious. Um, radiation burn. Is there anything that works against radiation burn already? I don't. Huh. Well, you know what? That's fine. We're just going to put this in medical because I hardly ever have anything like that. And I think that's pretty much uh, my essentials. Shotgun goes down here, and my assault rifle comes down here. Is 
there's my sniper rifle. Oh, wait, this is a regular sniper rifle. It's not mine. Alright, so we can, um... We can put those I honestly there. have no idea where the core is on this, so I have to be really careful. Disassemble all this. Oh, this must all be done. Where at? On what, what, you, what are you doing? Oh, your base? Dismantling my base. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> it's, it's probably going to be underground, and I'm going to be left with the base marker that is just chilling under a mountain. <laughs> Which would be a shame, because I liked this base spot. Now there's like a hole in the hill next to it already. The last thing I need is to supplement that hole in the hill with a marker. I almost in like an auto cruise mode with my jetpack. So here's an idea. Hear me out. AOE multi turret. Yeah, that'd be cool. You just aim it in the general vicinity of the base, and he goes, whoop, that's all yours now. I'd even go for, like, multi-turret explosives. I'd love it. What's up? Ooh. Throw some grenades in there that, like, zap everything out of existence and put it in a little cargo briefcase for you to roll over and pick up. That would make it fun. <laughs> You know what I'm going to do next time? I don't even know if this is possible, but if it is, I'm going to do it. Can you deploy a blueprint from your drone? Yes. Oh, I should have done that. That's how I managed to get my uh, Cerberus place down, was from that. I was trying everything, dude. It was nightmarish. Yeah, because that's why this thing ended up halfway in a mountain. It's because I couldn't see that I was placing it that far back. So I think for round two, I'm going to use the drone. You know, it's funny as I told Sick I could repair his ship, but I didn't think about the fact that I don't have the original repair template. So I won't be able to repair his ship. Yeah, I was going to say, didn't he not have a template saved? Um, I thought he did. He just didn't, he did the reason, as I jumped on the repair panel first, right? I can't even remember now. Something like, yeah, I got on there first because the thing was being all weird. And I, would, I didn't want it to, like, fly away on me. Well, no, because I remember we were asking if he had done the template. And uh, the first reaction was, what's that? So I, I just sort of assumed that he had made one. The overcraft with that shredder stuff on front can harvest stuff. Um, not rocks, but trees, yes. The harvest module can grind up enemies, uh, like foot soldiers and stuff, and you get experience from that. But if your guns kill stuff with the harvest, or sorry, if your guns on your hover vessel kill things, or small vessel or whatever, you don't get experience. So the harvester on a hover vessel can grind up wood, mushrooms, trees, and it can also grind up enemies and give you experience. What's up, Quake Final Boss? How you doing tonight?
All right, I'm going to leave the space station. There's about all I can do there at the moment. I'm going to go grab water containers from all the places I have water containers seated. You know what really sucks about dismantling a concrete base? What? It takes more than one zap to pull it back up? Oh, wait, that's armored no. concrete. Um, what really sucks is if you mess up and collapse part of it, you get one stone dust per concrete block. Ooh. So don't mess up. Turn your structural integrity on and go around using that. You know nothing about the uh, game yeah, yet? That's okay. Do. Well, that's how everyone starts out. You'll get there. But yeah, if you want anything else, just let me know. I'll be here for a little while longer. And tomorrow. And the day after that. <laughs> Gotta watch where I come down to the planet, or else I'm gonna have fun fighting Z Rax. Oh, that's right. We have no allies anymore. It's all good. Maybe I can find something and, and go after it. It'd be fun, though, because I don't have a clone chamber on... Because you can't have a clone chamber on a small vessel. So I can't really do anything cool until my capital's done. But I need to find a Zenu base and a Rado space. And then at least then, for all of our troubles, we can give everyone an epic sniper rifle. side of the planet for that. Where am I? Oh, I'm down here. Very much northwest of me. Okay. I can do that. Oh, there's something to discover to the north of me anyway. Let's go! Reload all the weapons. No one likes us right now, so this could get very interesting. Polaris survival camp. I thought, what? Polaris, POI. Enemy drone. Uh oh. I think we're gonna go with um, the rocket launcher humming missiles to blow up enemy drones that come after me. That's right, and we're supposed to be focused on going uh, northwest, actually. We're headed to these waypoints over here. Ideally, I should probably just go back into space and come back down and be a little faster, but I'm so interested in finding out what else is on this planet, because I don't think I've been everywhere. In fact, I'm missing that. I'm missing that uh, section, which we just got credit for. But this way, I'm going to pick up my water generator information and my copper ingots that I got scored away down here at this auto miner. And... Then I'm going to go run around the other planets I have water on because we still have like 20 something minutes for my capital vessel to get prepared. And then we're going to finish up the Zenu base in Rado space um, and hopefully we can try to find more Xerax um, or those... Hey, there's Epsilon defense right down there, but I think we already did Epsilon defense. We need to find Zenu defense. Epsilon, 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 Advanced Fortress. Advanced Outpost, the Drone Factory, Drone Base, Outpost, Spaceport, Fortress. So yeah, I might be out of luck at finding uh, what we need on this planet for that quest, but that's okay because we're actually going to hop to a couple of different planets. All right, now I know my copper down here is in Polaris territory. So there is a turret that is down there, um, but it's it's actually a little further up. It's right up there. Um, so, whoa, whoa, Nella! Oh, geez. Oh, those are the friendly dinosaurs. I was about to say, 
Oh, oh, drone. Watch out, we got drones. And then we have to switch into this view where I'm all disoriented. Oh, he's down there. Get my night vision out. What? What? Go away. Oh, is it dead already? Doesn't look like it's going anywhere. Yes, that's a Xerax drone. We're not friends with them anymore, and they are like on all the mining resources. So I'm not surprised that uh, we just had to deal with that. Did I accidentally take my multi-tool out? Okay. I did get shot a little bit, I think. Or maybe I didn't. Did I not take any damage? They usually go for my weapons. Wow! We took that drone out without taking any damage? Heck yes! Which all things were that cool. Alright, let's get the loot out of here. They always have power. I love I love getting free power stuff off of drones. Cause then I can just be like, fill her up! And uh did you actually take my No you didn't. That's okay though. I'm leaving that right there. Alright, so we're gonna make our way up to the uh, water generator here. Wait a minute, that's the other... We're not going there just yet. I still need to pick up my... Um, yes, my copper. It's right here. Night, Momo. See ya. Yeah, totally full of copper. Heck yes. So we'll be able to smell some ore when we get back. And we'll kind of go around so we don't have to deal with the turrets. There's another drone right there taking off, coming after me. I got your number, dude. You just keep on coming if you want some of this. See what happened to your friend? get messed up. How to build the auto miner. Well, um, the auto miner, you're going to need to raid a point of interest and get an auto miner core from it. And then it just takes um, some random ores and you can make it in your constructor. The hard part of that is the, is the, the POI and doing the raid and getting the auto miners. You can get over a hundred auto miner cores from doing like the alien installations, but um, they're a pain in the neck. <laughs> it's doable though. Just expect that you will die a few times. Oh god, something is attacking my ship. What is down here? Oh, stupid drone. This is so annoying not being friends with these guys now. No, we don't want pulse lasers, we want rockets. Oops. Let's not suck so hard, come on. There we go. Jeez. Wasting my ammo. Alright, anybody else want to come and play? I just want to get my water so I can leave the planet. Plasma cannon cells. Ooh. All right. Better not have messed with my. No, he didn't. Oh, okay, I was about to say, did he actually damage my water generators? I've been so pissed. How you don't build by yourself? What do you mean by how you don't build by yourself? I think we're going to leave my engines running this time after what just happened. And you know what, for that matter, we're going to get my epic rocket launcher out. Have fun with this! You can only get from raid. Yeah, you can only get the auto miner cores from doing raids. But you can do those by yourself. 
I would say just go slow and be careful and you can you can clear out can't build auto miner cores with builders no you can't build auto miner core with builders the only way to get auto miner cores is from the raids with the points of interest on the map it's a loot item It'd be nice if you could just build them, but they want you to really work to get those cores. Come on, switch over and show me box B. Uh, that's kind of random crap in there. Speaking of random crap, let's put those in there too. I got an auto miner core earlier on the stream today, which I thought was pretty cool. We were at um, a Xerax place, so it doesn't necessarily need to be the uh, alien ones, but that's where I get the most from, is the like abandoned factory, the abandoned mine, those abandoned ones that have the uh, scorpions in them. those places. So many water crates. That's why I came down here though. Because I want all the water crates. Actually underwater standing right here okay actually I can just get water not water but um, fill up my oxygen out of the tank right here all right so I think that's all the uh, water here and yeah so we'll go ahead and wait why is that not lit up Huh, how'd I miss those guys? Put, that's funny, I put fuel in there, or at least I think I put fuel in there, and I didn't empty it out. Is that what I did? Yeah, I put fuel, but it didn't track me emptying it out. Okay. Alright, anybody else not lit up? So that was what, almost two boxes full? I'll take that any day. Alright, here we go. I did leave my engines on. Alright, and blast off. And then, uh. Hey, what planet are you on? I forget, I can always just say uh, B. Arzama? Oh, you're in orbit. Yeah, I knew you. Oh, I'm about to start. Yay. That's not good. In space.
Can I make the Divina jump? Can I make the Divina jump? Uh, I made the jump. Can I land in time? Probably not. Starving. Yeah, I figured while I was waiting on my uh, capital bus to repair, I'd go around and get all my water containers looted. Oh my god. I actually had two energy bar in my loot chest that entire time and I never noticed it. <laughs> I'm alright, I'm fine. I'm not gonna die in space. I mean, I might still die in space, I'm not gonna starve to death in space. actually come into orbit and the base is right up here. This hardly ever happens to me. Usually I get stuck orbiting the planet forever. Oh that's funny, my door didn't shut. It was supposed to shut. Oh well. Oh jeez, never mind. Wrong landscape. <laughs> Nine miles away from the base? Yeah. Sure. What do we have here? See, yeah, there's an alien abandoned mine there. Alien unknown artifact. But I want to find... Um, supply stations, shrine, spaceport, more supply stations. Yes, alien tower. Oh, I can delete my um, waypoint there. That was for the quest. Why is it not it's deleting other things? I think wasn't it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? Okay, maybe not. Nope, nope. Do not go back. Actually, oh no, that's cool. We're in space. I'm alright with that. There's a snail here. We'll get there a little faster. Probably all the way over on like the dark side of the planet. 